Hi, John here, and uh, today we're going to be um, staying in the theme of aligning alignment, and 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 people are starting to ask me, well, you know, what is alignment? And I say, well, alignment is really the sum of all the parts of what it takes to make the human mind and the human life come together for the good of all. So we're going to talk today about balance because many people talk about balance and we've been talking about balance for many years and nobody was wrong talking about balance but we might see balance now in a different way when we think about the aligned spirit mind body spirit when we think of how much more depth and understanding that we can come into that and we know we can because we feel we can and we don't know why we feel we can but we just somehow know there's more Balance is part of it. Even while balance might have even sent a little superfluous in our mind or just the kind of a word that was used, there's some depth to that and, and, and there's some feeling to the understanding of what balance is because balance is in, this, in another form of zero-point energy. Balance in another form is, is, is neutral. Balance in another form is no energy. Take that to a thought process and you have maybe some observation without emotion or investment of, of, of um, something that would prejudice our mind because that's what we like it that way and we would want to veer over to that thinking and, and maybe give it a little bit more weight and credibility but real true balance is real true authentic, authenticity. So balance, balance, balance in health. We race to overcome and to destroy and to beat the enemy and we're going to survive this and fight it to the death. No, no, no. Become to the balanced place because your body is created perfect, balanced. A perfect body operating today doesn't operate from its conquering effort. It's in perfect balance. Proper vitamins, the proper minerals, the proper water. Um, what? Cells, atoms, subatomic, the spaces in between. No, this is all about balance. You think your cells and your body innately don't know what to do. It's not possible. I mean, involuntarily, our heart beats, our lungs work. Our mind operates computing, looking for whatever it is we feel we should be looking for. Balance is what we want. Balance in all things. Even the, 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 the way we deal with the ego is a terribly devilish, dastardly thing, but all ego is is your I am out of balance. And you need your I am to be who you are. I am. But I am out of balance is egoic. So you see, when we talk about balance now, we can talk about it to the very depths of it being a strategy. A strategy to not get involved with the little things that are around you. A strategy to really understand what is our business and what isn't it. How much things in life do we kind of jump out of our journey to go jump into another journey? Which causes what? Imbalance. That can't be right. Either somebody's light in their journey or somebody's very heavy in theirs. We're all designed to go on our own journey, and when they come together for the good of all, that's great. But to not be having enough going on in your journey, to go over and hang around somebody else's journey, seems kind of sad, doesn't it? Yeah. So when you see that coming, and you feel like doing that, you say, wait a minute now, this is really my territory. Because often you'll find you'll come up with better with your own answers than you will the excitable answers of somebody else. And sometimes that even includes the medical profession. So if you can kind of come to an understanding with yourself, with your very own creative knowledge, your innate understanding that when everything is balanced, it's perfect. Balance. You don't have to rush anywhere to do anything. All you have to do is walk, walk to the center of your life and have a look and look around. And if you can live in the present moment, you'll probably find things are very good. And if not very good, pretty good. And certainly better than you might have imagined 
if you come with all your stories and your old movies, balance. Balance in the present moment. Balance living in this very moment in time. Good health. Good. Not everything is perfect. Oh, I know that. But doesn't something always work out? How many times have I walked around shaking my head, pulling my hair, saying, oh my God, I'll never get through this. And somehow I did. Somehow the answers came. Somehow something happened that made it lucky somehow that I got through. Call it what you will. But you got through that and you're going to get through this. And you're going to get through this, whatever it is, much better and much quicker if you can come to the now and stop trying to drag in all the baggage of yours and your father's and your grandfather's and if it's good enough for him, that's the way we did it. No, no, we came to progress. We came to do it better. And if you're not sure about it, watch your children because they know how to do it better. They just have their own way of doing it better. Balance. Balance in your life. Balance in all things. Balance in your thinking. Place of, of, of observations so that you're not invested in everybody's business and you're not invested in everybody's opinion. You're looking at it from a place of light. What is light? Light is information. Take the information in from a place without prejudice. Balance. Zero point energy. Every time you look at a situation, look at it with a balanced view. With an observing view. Especially if it's things that you maybe kind of really made your blood boil or really kind of would take you over the end. Maybe go back and revisit that from a place of observation, from a place of zero passion, from a place of, hmm, let me see if I can see this through another set of eyes, balance. Balance in our approach to life. Balance in our understanding that there has to be good and what we might think is evil because there's no such thing. There's just opposing forces that make things stand up straight. They make them noticeable. Balance in your life. Not just a word. Not just a thing. But a real strategy. Part of alignment. Part of the process of illuminating your mind too alignment and all the things that come from the tree the trunk of an aligned spirit with the source of life and all that is that alignment that collaboration from there all the things that many people search for individually will come and balance is one of the things that you'll need and not need that you miss it somehow you won't get it because you already have it it's just not balanced your balance isn't balanced, so let's get balanced. It takes nothing. And when you're at one with yourself, you are in balance. When you're comfortable with the thoughts that you're getting, and you see that there's some value to them, even if you can't quite make them out right now. That's a nice feeling of observation and balance coming into your life. Balance. Part of alignment. One of the fruits. Talk to you soon.